house followers today we're making little macrame crystal keychains these are super trendy they are so easy to do and you can carry your favorite crystal around with you so a few things that you're gonna need is I have some scissors here I have some good GS hypo cement glue to tie our knot um, I am using um, hemp cording. You can also use a wax cording. I like these variegated color collections. I have part of one here. Um, just because I can match my crystal or whatever decor I have a little bit more. And then, of course, your favorite crystal. So, oh, and of course, a little key loop. So, let's get started. So I am going to use this purple color here because I am going to go ahead and wrap one of my amethyst pieces. You are going to need eight strands, about 12 inches long. I say 12 to 14 inches long will be about good. So there's two. Three, four, five, six. And I am just eyeballing the length on this and just kind of keeping the ends close together and then making a cut. So that should be eight strands there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take one of my ends and try to line up all of the strings the best I can. I can come in with some scissors and fix that if needed. So I got them all lined up, all eight strands lined up at the end. And then what I'm going to do is I want about two to three inches for a little tassel piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot. And then just pull. I'm going to pull this way. Making sure it's nice and tight. <clears throat> now for this part. You're going to want to go ahead and pair off your strands. So you're going to want four sets of two. We're going to go ahead and start the base that's going to hold your crystal. So I have a bigger one with some macrame so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, as you can see, you just take the strands and you're going to tie a knot. So that's going to help it so nothing comes out the bottom and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to put them fairly close to my big knot. So again, just making the same kind of knot we did for that tassel. If I can get both of the strings through. Okay, we're going to try that again. So again, just making the same knot as the tassels. And we want to keep it fairly close to the, to the bottom. So very close to that tassel knot. So four of these knots on the groupings of string. two, three right here, okay, you guys this is so simple, anybody can do these, 
and they're just so cute. Okay, so my last knot, making sure I'm getting them through both the strings there. Okay, so now you should be able to see that you have the four sets of two strings that are tied in a knot. Here, you're going to want to pair up the neighboring string. So you have one knot here and one knot there on the neighboring side, and you want to get the strings to pair up. Cause that is gonna what's gonna that's gonna be what starts to form this little netting here. And again, I'm gonna keep the knots very close. Just like the knots before. Now depends on how close or how small your um crystal is but I have found most of the crystals that we have in the store um, you'll either need to do two to three of these pairings so we'll do our first one here and then we'll go to the next level and then we'll try to fit my crystal in and see where we are okay so there's two knots So you can see neighboring knots, neighboring strings, and then we tie a knot. Okay. Again, trying to get all of the knots somewhat close. And then I have one more knot. neighboring knots neighboring strings and we tie them together okay now we're going to go ahead and separate these out again so neighboring knots and strings will get tied together. Neighboring knots and strings. Okay. So again, keeping the knot close again. Just pulling it on down and making it nice and tight. Neighboring knots and strings. Then just making a knot. So simple. Anybody can do these knots and create this little hammock, I guess you could say, for the crystal. Neighboring knots and strings. And just a loopy doop for the knot. Okay, now last one. Neighboring strings. And then we make a knot. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and see how my crystal fits in here. So I'm going to take my little amethyst piece. I'm going to wiggle them down in there. Kind of stretch this out. So 
So I didn't do this knot actually close enough like the other ones. But I think I can go ahead and do one more row of those knots and then we'll tie it off at the top. So again, you're going to take neighboring knots and neighboring strings and we're going to tie a knot. Again, four of these. Now, if this crystal stayed small all the way through and didn't get bigger, I probably would have been okay with the two knots or the two layers that we went up. But since it does get wider, I needed to go one up. Neighboring knots and strings. If you don't pull it too tight and notice that your knot's too high, you can kind of wiggle it. You're cording loose and then just bring it down. Okay, that's better. So neighboring knots and strings. And then tie that last knot. So I do suggest if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't figure out where my knots are, kind of just laying it out. You can tell where you've tied knots and where you haven't. So like here, you can tell, let me spread this out. You can tell that these come down one more notch than these two. So then you'll be like, oh, I need two more. Or I need to tie these two. Kind of helps you see where you're at if you're getting confused at all. Usually I just tend to work from one knot and just keep going in the circle. I found that it's a tad bit easier. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and squeeze that crystal right back in there. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very nice. Look at that. All the way up around the crystal. And then we're just going to do the similar knot as we did down there and through the rest of this so far. So just loop it around. I'm going to try to get this as tight and close up to the crystal as I can. So I am going to be holding it up against the crystal and just pushing down. And then I like to always spread the strings and kind of pull it. Okay. So from here, I suggest either having tape and kind of taping this tassel side down or go ahead and you can bring in a clipboard to just hold down that tassel part. Because we are going to go ahead and do a square knot. So it's going to really even that out, flatten it. And then you'll only have two strings that you have to tie off. So let's show you how that works. There's two parts to it. So you want to go ahead and take that outer strings And then you're going to leave all the rest in the center. I'm going to take my left side and go over. My right side string is going to go over. And then it goes under. And then you're going to pull it up through this loop. And then we're just going to get it up here as close as we can. And just pull it tight. So now we're going to go opposite. Instead of going over, you're going to go under, and then under, and over. And then just go ahead and pull that string, and you have a square knot. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and repeat that about five times, I believe. You could always go more. It's just a preference. But I think five knots tend to look pretty good. And then we'll tie off the keychain. So we'll walk through this knot one more time. Hold this tight. Okay. So again, it goes over with your, or this is my left side, over, over with my right side. And then I'm going to go ahead and tuck that string underneath everything. I want to make sure it's going underneath the string I put on top as well. And then I'm going to pull it up on that loop on my left side. So, pull it nice and tied up to the other ones. And now the second part of the knot, we're gonna go under all the strings on my left side. And with that right side, go bring that string under, and then it's gonna go over everything. And then you just pull the knot up. Super simple, you guys. So over, over, and then under, and through the loop. Under, under, over everything, and through the loop. Over, over, under everything. And then you go opposite, right? Under, under, and then over and through the loop. So I'm gonna do one more of these knots. And then I am gonna go ahead and add my keychain. But you can always make this as long as you want here, especially if you have extra string. I always like to have a little extra string in case there's a oopsie or if I want more tassel or what maybe my crystal was a little bit bigger and I needed a couple more knots. Oops, we're going to go over. And then my last little under, under, over and through the loop. Okay. So from here, I'm going to take my scissors and I am going to go ahead and cut all this access string off. Now I can save this. I could also, especially because I have extra, I can make a really small little keychain as well. Or I could use the string for other things. Okay, now that I got those strings cut, I like to take that GS Hypo and I just like to put it on these strings making sure they're nicely covered. Um, I just don't want anything to be moving. So I always like to put a little glue there. Also will help prevent the um, strings from fraying. Now we're gonna come in with that keychain. And since you have these two strings, you can easily just tie this off. I just do like a shoe lace tie, right? I'm going to do that twice. One and two. And then, of course, make sure this is where I want it. Now, I do go ahead and I put a little GS Hypo on this knot as well. Making sure it's covered all over on that knot because we don't want it to slip out on you. If you're not comfortable with just the two ties and knots, I suggest going through and tying it one more time. Now with this GS Hypo and this knot, I usually will not cut off these strings um, until it's fully dried, but for the purpose of this video, I am going to go ahead and snip them off right now. Getting as close as I can to that knot. And ta-da! You got yourself a cute little crystal keychain.
I just love them. They are so fun. I like being able to add the different colors of hemp wire. Again, you can use any crystal. It's just so simple and fun. Well, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.